In this video, we will be reviewing our regenerative manifold, now standard on Alpha Series log splitters and Pro HD Series processors. Here is an example of how a typical log splitter's hydraulics function. Fluid is moving from pressure to the apport. The fluid then puts pressure to the blind end of the rod, forcing the push block to move forward and split the log. The fluid is continually routed back to the tank while the log splitter is in extension. In this typical routing, the hydraulic fluid has to travel a long way in order to return to the tank. Here is a regenerative cycle in extension. The rectangle in the center of the diagram is the regenerative manifold, which drives a regenerative cycle. Fluid moves from pressure to the apport and then toward the blind end of the rod, similar to a typical cycle in extension. But instead of returning to the tank, the fluid enters the apport of the regenerative manifold and flows out the apport. This results in a more rapid extension of the rod from the cylinder, as twice the amount of fluid is driving extension without an increase in pump flow. The regenerative manifold is pressure sensitive, so reaching its max pressure will drive a non-regenerative cycle. For example, when there is a knot in the wood, the cylinder will slow up and begin a non-regenerative cycle. Then the cylinder will regain power and drive through the log. When in a non-regenerative cycle, the fluid routing stays the same at first, but once it enters the airport of the regenerative manifold, it moves out the B port instead of the apport. Once fluid moves out of the regenerative manifold's B port, it is routed to the B port and then to the tank. Now, this is how the fluid is routed when the log splitter is in retraction. Pressure is routed to the B port and then moves to the B-port of the regenerative manifold. The pressure then moved to the R-port. Pressure goes out of the R-port and toward the rod end of the log splitter, causing the rod to retract. The pressure is then routed to the tank. Here is an example of an Alpha 6, equipped with a regeneration manifold. The main advantages of the regeneration manifold are that it increases splitting force, cuts down cycle time, and does not require additional pump flow.